Keep your heads up, family. What's up, fam? We just went past this blood moon, and every day and every hour is high watch time. Now let's get started with the verse of the day. And it's 1 Corinthians 15, 57. But thanks be to God, which giveth us victory through our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. And we'll get more into the word after we go on to the rapture watch and we show you what we're seeing. First, we go to spaceweather.com and it says the solar wind is here. And when you scroll down, it says a major outbreak of noctilucent clouds. Last night, July 5th, 6th, a major outbreak of noctilucent clouds blanketed Europe. Electric blue. And look how beautiful that is. All glory to you, Father. Now we go to Earth sky. Venus brightest, near Aldebaran, around July 10th. And this is happening during this planet parade. And our brother Manny the jockey sent us these pictures last night from Pennsylvania. He's just a couple hours from Philadelphia. And here it is, coming up, the blood moon. And here's another shot. And here's another shot. Deep red blood moon like a stoplight. This could be America's final warning before the rapture. And the moon has turned to blood many times over Jerusalem, over America, over the whole world, family. And we know it's written, the moon turns to blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. And a little bit later, our brother sent us this picture. And the moon's behind the clouds now. And you can see the triangle. It's Jupiter and Saturn. It's the planet parade, family. And there's signs in the heavens right where Jesus Christ said they would be. In the sun and in the moon and in the stars. So we're getting more excited because we know that Jesus Christ will come and get us and the day of the rapture is approaching quickly. And our seventh watch is 717 for many reasons, family. But this whole month is stacked. The 4th of July was 704. And 704 in Strong's Bible Concordance is a lamb. And the next new moon is on 720, depending where you're at. And July 21st is 721. And in Strong's Bible Concordance, it's also a lamb. 704 and 721, both are a lamb, the definition in Strong's Bible Concordance. Now we're going to show you how close we are to the Jewish people's happiest day and their saddest day, their best day and their worst day. And their happiest day of the year is the 15th day of Av. It's to be Av. There were no greater festivals for Israel than the 15th of Av and Yom Kippur. And we've been preaching it through our whole ministry. It's all about love, family. Jesus Christ is love. The two greatest commandments are based on love. And I'm feeling the Holy Spirit praise you, Father. It's all love, family. So yes, there's a high possibility that the rapture could happen on the day of love to be of. And this year in America, it'll be on August 3rd and 4th. And it just happens to be Obama's birthday. And that stands out. But before that day comes, Tisha B'Av comes. Their worst day in history. Their saddest day in history. And the anniversary this year is July 29th. The 28th of July and the 29th in America. And the 29th and the 30th of July in Israel. And it's the biggest fast day of the year. And it commemorates the destruction of both the first temple and the second temple in Jerusalem. And this rare solar eclipse that happened on Father's Day was the anniversary of when Moses sent the 12 spies out. And they came back 40 days later with a false report. And on June 20th, obviously it was June 21st in Israel, and when you add 40 days to that day, it lands on the 9th of Av, Tisha B'Av, their worst day in history, July 30th. And that's why it's their worst day in history because the 12 spies came back with a false report and I got the Holy Spirit all over me. It's the truth, family. This day will not be forgotten by God. And like our last video, I said in it and it's true. 
God takes something bad and turns it to good. Just like Saul. He turned him to Paul. And just to remind you, God, Jesus Christ, he loves everyone. And he wants us to love everyone. And a lot of you know this, but for those who don't, let us show you what the true will of our Father God is. And as you can see, our daily verses just came through at 10 o'clock and it said, Love! There's the confirmation. Now we go to John chapter 6 and we'll start at verse 27. Labor not for meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father sealed. Then said they unto him, What shall we do, that we might work the works of God? Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. They said therefore unto him, What sign shewest thou then, that we may see, and believe thee? What doest thou work? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. And I gotta stop right there and just say, it's hilarious to me that they were trying to tell Jesus Christ what he did. Like he didn't know that he made it rain bread from heaven. Remember, before Abraham was, I am. Verse 32. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. Jesus Christ, for the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you, that ye also have seen me, and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven, not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that all of which he hath given me I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and, and I, I will, will raise, raise him up, up at the, the last day. day. And it all starts there, family. It's John 3, 16. And the will of our Father is that we believe in Jesus Christ. And the rest of our works that we do are filthy rags compared to what Jesus Christ did on the cross. Dying for our sin. It's the whole reason we're saved. And anything compared to what Jesus Christ did is a filthy rag to us. But don't be discouraged from doing works. Jesus Christ said, Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep. The last chapter of the Bible, Jesus Christ says, I will reward every man according as his work shall be. I got the Holy Spirit all over me, family. He wants us to work for him. We're his vessels. While he's preparing a place for us, he has us down here doing the works. So yes, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, our Father God, the Holy Spirit, wants us working for Him. He wants us preaching the gospel. He wants us feeding the poor and giving to the brethren that are lesser than us. And it's absolutely beautiful and amazing and a gift from God to be able to help people that are poor and homeless and hungry and thirsty. All glory to our Father, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. Christina and I are truly blessed. He gave us this ministry and you loving brothers and sisters to help our ministry so we could go out and feed the poor and the homeless. And we just want you to know, family, it makes us very happy and we enjoy it very much. We just went out the day before yesterday and handed out the last of our care packs, our food packs. And it was amazing. And Jesus Christ was with us everywhere we went. And every song that came on the radio was about love. And we had a couple distractions and a couple obstacles. But it couldn't stop us. God carried us right through them. And right when it was happening, 
The song came on the radio. Nothing can stop us now. God's odds. All glory to our Father in heaven. And the requests for invitations have been pouring in. I think we have about 10 more requests today that we're going to ship out right after this video. And Jesus Christ said, Blessed are those servants giving meat in due season when I come. And two and a half years ago, Jesus Christ woke me up and said, Prepare the table. Invite the people. And that's what we've been doing ever since with the invitations. And we want you to be blessed and giving meat in due season when he comes with us, family. So all glory to our Father in the name above every name. All names. Jesus Christ. We thank you, family. Everyone that's ever donated to our ministry and everyone that's ever handed out the invitations and everybody that's ever started handing out food packs because they seen that we were doing it. This is our job. We're the light of the world. We do this to glorify God. And we are just very thankful for you, brothers and sisters. And we're not going to stop, God willing, until he comes. Like my husband said, we handed out all the care packs. We're going to ship out the rest of the invitations today. So if you're feeling led to donate or help hand out the invitations, all you have to do is email us. Our information is in the description box. And no one's promised tomorrow. And any day could be our last day. The rapture could be today or tomorrow. So we really want you to know today how much we appreciate you and love you and thank you for being a part of our ministry. That's all for Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. You are a true blessing from Jesus Christ. And it's truly going to be a pleasure worshiping the King of Kings, our Lord, our Father God, the Holy Spirit, for, for eternity. eternity. With you, fam. And all his holy angels. And until then and forever, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.